Bryce Young forced him to throw 30 plus times. He's in for a long day. Ooh. Allowed this this pass rush. Aiden, Julian Okoro's back. Uh, Ali McNeil. These guys are on fire. John Kaminsky. I think they get after Bryce. Maybe they roll uh, Bryce Young out in a body bag. I don't know. Put him in but I don't think bag. it's going to be a fun day for Bryce. I got the Lions winning this one. 27 to 13. Okay. That's my final score prediction. 27 to 13. That is a good one. I'm going to go a slightly bigger blowout, but something kind of in the similar range. I am going to go Lions 28, Panthers 7. I think this is going to be one of those games where it's clearly a blowout. They get an early lead, and it's pretty much all she wrote from there. But Detroit... They run the football effectively against a Carolina rush defense that actually isn't very good. They take off a lot of the clock off, off for some of their drives. I think here's what's going to happen when it comes to the offense. I think for the most part that they're methodical and efficient. Jared Goff is methodical and efficient. David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs are methodical and efficient. But I think one thing will happen. I think either Jameer Gibbs breaks one or Jamison Williams breaks one. I yep. think one of those things happen. And once the Lions get the lead... Bryce Young's going to have to try to throw the ball and get it back in the game. Which and he has not had success doing. And he <laughs> is going to get murdered all game by this Lions pass rush. And even if they try to run the football, where do the Lions rank in terms of rush defense in the NFL right now? Uno. Uno. <laughs> and who is the Panthers starting running back? Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders in his 2.9 yards per carry. <laughs> honestly, honestly, and this is me just, just, the Panthers are lucky because I don't like predicting shutouts. They're lucky that I'm even giving them seven. I wanted to say it was worse than that, but I don't think they hit double digits. I think the Lions win this one very, very comfortably, 28 to seven and are methodical about it. But that one explosive play from either Jameer Gibbs or Jamison Williams. I love the explosive uh, paper. Yes. I, I think you're probably spot on about that. Jameer or Jamo is gonna get free today. Mike, uh, BMG. I'm going to go to you. What are you feeling? How does it play out this Sunday? Uh, I got the Lions 31-10. to 10. I do agree with Sam. I think Jameer Gibbs is going to break one. I think this is the game that you kind of have to see something out of him or more that you want to see something out of him and you steal this game easily. And as far as the defense goes, the Panthers have allowed five sacks or four sacks each of the last three games, not including the game that they played with Andy Dalton. So I expect the defensive line to go get right back at yes, it and sir. eat this game. So. You think, Jameer, 10. you think Jameer hits pay dirt? You said what? You think Jameer Gibbs hits pay dirt today? Or Sunday? I keep saying today, Sunday. I would hope. I would hope. I've been saying hey. it the last two weeks. He's got to get in the end zone. Not that that's everything, but come on. Give the rookie some confidence. Uh, Parker, what about you? How do you see it played out? So, we held the Atlanta Falcons only six points. I think the Atlanta Falcons are a better team than the Carolina Panthers. 31-6. to six. I, yeah. I think this is going to be a complete blowout. I don't think the Carolina even gets a touchdown. So that's my take. Can't be all you want. No, you guys, listen, no. and I want to kind of piggyback off that for a second. Think about this, Lions fans. You face Pacheco. You face Kenneth Walker. You face Bijan and Algier. You faced Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon. And you got 2.9 yards per carry Miles Sanders at home. They're going to keep up what they've been doing. you got to force, and they will, Bryce Young to be Superman, which he is not. Superman's not 5'10", but regardless. And they're going to win this football game. You had Jerry Jacobs last week go for two picks. Like, the Lions are going to take advantage and make this Panthers offense one-dimensional. Lions are going to take care of them decisively. Decisively. Um, and people are chiming in here now as well. Uh, Huggy Bear, who cares if J-Mo or Gibbs has a breakout game as long as the Lions win? Who cares? I mean, that's, yeah, that's, like, very, that's, but that's boring. Like, right. I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Like, you're 100% right, Huggy Bear, but, hey. I didn't say that I'm demanding it, and if it's not, <laughs> it's a failure. It was just a simple prediction. And I think we all agree that Jameer Gibbs and, and Jamison Williams, we've definitely seen it from them in college, both at Alabama, by the way. They have that ability. They have that speed. I'm just saying I think this is the week, especially with Jamison Williams making his season debut, which that, <laughs> this is the first time he's literally had the opportunity to play. He couldn't have had an explosive play in the last four games. That's why I'm saying it. But if it doesn't happen in the Lions win, it's all well and good. Just win, baby. But it's a prediction. Yeah. What I'm am not, I supposed to say? Shame on you, You, you can't, like, shame call for you. J-Mo to go nuts off rip, but I think Jameer Gibbs is way overdue. And he if there's is, any game for, sure. for him to get in the end zone, I think it's this one. So that's just my thoughts on it. J-Mo, you can slowly work him in. I wouldn't be mad if you don't see too much out of him this week, but Jameer Gibbs, I feel like, has to have a game. Uh, Full Slate Farm says it'll be closer than you all think. Pull away late 21-7. Uh, and I'm being real with you. 21-7, um, like, yeah. That still covers the spread, so. 
still covers. So I'm not. I wouldn't be mad about that. I just think this Lions offense will score more than 21. But sure. um, I don't see them scoring 40. Uh, right. But me and you, we're, we're all kind of in the same ballpark here. Lions win decisively. Um, Huggy Bear says, "I'd rather win boring than lose with excitement." Yeah, that's all. You're spot on. None of us would like them to lose with excitement. Uh, <laughs> win is all that matters. That W in the win column to go to four and one is the bottom line. Uh, oh. Eric Allen says, "I need the, I need to see golf throw t- three touchdowns this week. Um, could be the it could be the game. Uh, again, a golf's about due from one of those games. He's been he's been playing well so far. Cut down the picks, but other than that, I'm not worried about that. The guy went like 300 passes without throwing a pick. So." Yeah. Okay, I don't want to, you know, all of a sudden act like he's Jameis Winston uh, you know, after after three picks this season. Uh, that's a little over. That's a little over. If, if this game was in Carolina, I'd be a little more skeptical. But golf coming off kind of, I don't want to say a shaky game, but obviously a shaky start with Green Bay, and then he played well throughout the game, and he plays so well at home. Four Field's going to be rocking. I don't know if Bryce Young and the Panthers are ready for that.